Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. Um, so I've owned the iPhone 14 Pro for an entire year. I got it January 4th, um, 2023. Um, and now it's January 4th, 2024. And my, which means my limited warranty has expired on this phone, so... Um, so, and in case it does break or anything, Apple can't do anything about it, but pretty much I bought this iPhone. It's the, I guess they call it, um, Graphite or Space Black. I can't remember, or Jet Black. I can't remember, but it's basically just the black version of the 14 Pro. And I got the Navy Blue case. I forget what color blue they call it, but, um, case for it, um, the last lever case, um, yeah, I mean, last iPhone that um, Apple made lever cases for, because now with the 15 series, they have the um, the fine moving case, which I'm recording with my new iPhone 15 Pro, um, which I'm going to be upgrading to now since it's been an entire year. I've had this iPhone for a few months in my collection, but I decided I'm going to main it because I got service on it and um, mine as well, um, even though I won't be updating this one, unlike my 14 Pro. Um, but, um, but, um, it is fairly played pretty well. I'll kind of show you, um, so here's the, my main wallpaper. There's my personal iPhone still as of right now. Um, I kind of got some settings on here, um, stuff like that. Um, and, um, I got all, all my main apps on the first page. I just, I wanted the default iOS 17 wallpapers. And then I got the second page there. Um with other stuff um and um and um so yeah pretty cool so i get kind of the apps there i get some games i don't play games much anymore on there i if i want to play games i'll play on my console there yeah, right um i get some school stuff get some other cool stuff but all on the main apps I use are, so I got all my banking apps, um, got all the sports apps, right? Got all my music apps, and then my social medias. So, um, and yes, if you want to just go ahead and subscribe, I'm at 232 subscribers, Eric Sports Tech Pro. Um, that would be great if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel. That would be amazing. Um... And yes, unlike some of my other iPhones, I actually do, indeed, unlike most of my other iPhones and Apple products, I actually do update my 14 Pro to the latest version of iOS, which is 17.2.1. It's the, um, just 128 gig model, because I don't really have, or I don't really use a whole bunch of storage, so, um, so it is pretty much the 14 Pro I think they call it the space black or graphite i can't remember um 128 gig latest ios 17.2.1 so um and um which means eventually at some point since i'm a serious apple collector i do have to find a um 14 pro still running ios 16 i'm watching a few right now but i don't think i'll be able to buy one anytime soon um um I got other stuff I gotta get, but, um, but I am watching some, but not sure how I'm, soon how I'm gonna be able to buy them, but we'll see, um, and, um, but, yeah, I've kept it in really good condition, it's always been in this case, um, and, um, the only real issue I've had with it is the battery life, can't really go for more than a day and a half, and, um, that's what a lot of people have been complaining about um, with the 15 Pro as well. They said that the iPhone 16 series, the Apple will finally focus more on the software, iOS 18, and then also the um, battery life should finally get better on this year's iPhone, technically, because it's 2024 now. So, um, but, so, I mean, um, but, Pretty much, pretty much it. I mean, I've 
we don't have any problems with it. Um, I've kept it in very good condition and I've made it for an entire year. So, so I'll be upgrading to this iPhone 15 Pro that I'm recording with um, tomorrow. I can show my um, face here and here is me recording with the 15 Pro. So, um, there we go. And, um, hmm. And trying to think if there's anything else I got to add. It did kind of get dusty pretty quickly, but, um, but pretty good smartphone overall. And, um, yeah. And also, would I recommend buying it right now if, I mean, you're searching for a new iPhone? Absolutely not. I don't think so because obviously, um, I don't think it's any longer available on the bull in the Apple store because for whatever reason, only after one year, Apple discontinued having to use the previous year's Pro model. So I really don't know why, but pretty much ever since the iPhone 10, <laughs> that's what's happened. So, um, and then, so pretty much not worth it. And then on eBay, they're kind of still high. I mean, in the 7800s, so maybe 650 if you're lucky, but I would just recommend getting the regular 14 or actually not even the regular 14. I would recommend getting either the 13 or because literally the 13 and 14, the regular 13 and 14 are exact same chipset. 815, you're only just getting a few very minor added features. To the camera and you get crash detection on the iPhone 14. But other than that, really ain't getting anything. So I would recommend either the 13 or um or on the way is 15 pros. But literally, I think the iPhone 13 is a sweet spot right now. Um for most average users. Um but um I probably will do a video um, an iPhone buying guide for probably this spring when I do have an iPhone 13 back in my collection um, because I sold my iPhone 12 and my iPhone 13 my non rare ones that I updated to iOS 16 last year um, to help me get some of the more rare devices um, and I am looking forward to getting um, some of the newer iPhones back so I can um, Finally, um, do all my videos on those, which ones I should recommend. So, um, starting with all the, um, pretty much every chipset that's supported in iOS 17. So, um, so starting with the 10s through the 15, um, Pro. So, um, but anyway, um, as, um, it, I'm going to this kind of very different video. Um, but anyway, um, that is going to be it. And peace out, everybody.